Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Thought I would show you uh, something here made by T-Rex82 real quick and he asked me to build a miner to work with this uh, uh, pretty crazy SV that is a big like mining station SV uh, huge amount of storage and other things going on here for you guys might have seen this in his uh, videos um, very very cool design but uh, so I started work on a miner. Well, I actually just about got it done, but I got two versions, and then I also discovered another issue with my own miner, the MCRN Mole T1. Um, it was kind of brought up in comments too, but I got to thoroughly take a look at it in some gameplay actually. So, um, well, to start with here on these, uh, I got these two different Tyke miners. Um, they're both the same miner, kind of. Um, and unfortunately, I ran into a design issue on these right now. Uh, the first one I actually uh, I liked. It, uh, I was trying to go a little bit bigger because it's going to be a T2 miner as opposed to a, a T1 miner. So I was thinking, well, let's try to up the bore pattern a little bit, make it a little bit wider so I can get a little bit more mining done in one pass. Um, and as in storage and, and thrusters and everything are also hyped up on this one. It has more hover engines, uh, beefier thrust on it, and a few other things. Plus it, plus it has an interior and at T2 would have a uh, multi-tool. So it, uh, I like the specs on it. It's very, very agile mon minor and uh, far outperforms what this one does. But I got one critical issue with this one that I cannot overcome, and that's why there's another version. Um, has to do with the mining layout. To start with, I was thinking, well, what if I only had four drills, but I spaced them out one block row further than what I did on the MCRN on basically both sides? So that's what I started with, but then I realized, well, that doesn't work because when you're mining, what happens is it doesn't fill in this area and you get this, this wall clump right in front of you that stops you from moving. So bad, doesn't work at all. So then I added two more miners to this um, in the center portion, and then, then it works great again. Um, it really zips, zips, zips through the uh, mining tunnels just fine and everything is hunky-dory. Uh, does well but I can't seal it because I put this mining drill here it sits essentially right below where the cockpit needs to go and there's no way I can make it airtight at all which sucks um, and I can't move the this cockpit up a block um, if I were to move it back where it would be airtight it would be like way back over here then you couldn't see out the front window um, so I just had no solutions to make this work. So what I did is I changed the bore pattern over here. So I put in, uh, got rid of the two center ones and moved these in a block row closer. But then I'm running this full block on several sides on the bottom and top and well, bottoms and sides where these mining drills aren't to the outer edges. Um, this works. Um, it's not my usual way of, I like to do it though. I don't really like to run extra blocks past the mining drills on the side, but this, this, uh, allowed me to, uh, fill in this inside and get it airtight in here, which is great. Um, but then, but then I got, well, I don't have the uh, multi turret on here, but then I also have a bunch of extra CPU. Um, as in other specs on this. Essentially, it has 14K storage and, uh, I'm sorry, 14K harvest storage, and then it has another two, 2K uh, standard storage, and it has no ammo box or weapons or anything like that on there. And I've, uh, so I'm going to be, I'm going to keep on modifying this some more, I think. Um, I've got CPU left over, and it's bugging me, and I would like to use it for stuff. And I'm missing some features that even the uh, this little guy has on it, like a, a med bay, um, where the I didn't have room inside to actually put one of those in here right now because of the interior. And the fact that I did all this cosmetic stuff with cutting into the wall over here is kind of preventing me from getting more things in the miner. Um, 
because of looks more or less. So I don't know. I got to keep on trying to work this out and see what I can do here. But yeah, this drill pattern here, it's effective, but yeah, lack of lack of O2 inside it, um, in which I cannot fix is problematic. So speaking of this MCRN miner, I actually used this in gameplay, realized it's got uh, some update flaws going on. Two, two main concerns on it right now, and I need to update this, this blueprint. Uh, concern number one is over on CPU, um, which kind of sucks. It used to be right at CPU. Um, I realize that it doesn't really need this bottom uh, shredder down here, which helps a little bit with CPU, but it's still over. And another, it, but the major, major issue with it is it doesn't have enough uh, generator power now. Now I realize that adding one small or the tiniest little generator that you can, which is one of these things, is enough. And then it's fine again. Um, so even if this was on here, uh, it, it would work out fine. But what happens if, when you start drilling with this, how it is stock right now, it, it damages the generator because it overuses it, essentially. Um, but having that on there makes it good again. But then again, I've got the CPU issue as well, which is bug bugging me a little bit. So I uh, was thinking, well, it doesn't really need these strafing thrusters here. So another way to get rid of some of that would be to remove those. That helps a little bit more, but it's still over CPU. And the last part of it would be to remove uh, some storage, I guess. Um, Basically, I ran it about like it is here in actual game, um, and uh, it was slightly over CPU, but it was also at 96%, and now it just dealt with it. It wasn't, wasn't a big issue at all. Now, as in these things, though, these things are, these things are really quick and responsive, um, and I think a really, really, really fun miner. Especially this version with the six drills on it, um, but yeah, I can't, I cannot seal the interior on it. Darn it! Um, and the only other way I could seal the interior would be to replace this cockpit and put in a prefab, but that kind of de defeats the whole purpose of having an interior in the first place. Um, so I don't know. Back to the drawing boards on that. Anyway, moving on. Scar heavy tank. Uh, it's exactly where it was last time. Oh, and yeah, and you probably know already, but uh, I did get this uh, released uh, Sunday. So this is out to the workshop. Uh, fun little craft, strange, asymmetrical. Final interior kind of looks about like what you see here. And uh, Revenant gave me some heads up too and checked it out and realized I was missing a fridge on the original version and a couple little details that I uh, decided to add in a little bit later. Um, and also on this one too, if you happen to be looking at it, it, it those ramps are so loud. Oh my goodness. Um, this is where I've been sticking a lot of parts inside of here and there's extra room and I just kind of left that so a player might be able to figure out where things are in the ship due to its unique layout and the fact that I had a squeeze and a warp core in here as well. I couldn't, I, I oh those ramps. <laughs> Um, I, I couldn't really um, make it visible on the interior because there just wasn't room for that kind of thing because I actually got the warp core sitting way back over here. But, uh, yeah, that one's fun. Um, so as in this one, basically the body of this was pretty much done except for the bottom, and that's when I'm still playing around with um, hover thrusters or hover engines, I should say. And though. I don't want to do the bottom until I get all the storage and the interior mostly intact. And then I've got some wiggle room going down these sides and possibly even in the front to rearrange some of these hover thrusters to see how it does with balancing. Um, so inside in here, basically I got a bunch of uh, temporary parts laid out just to uh, kind of placeholders to see what it's going to take for everything. Um, 
how it sits right now it's at 84,000 CPU it gives me another it's about 16,000 before I hit the 100,000 cap which is perfect actually um, or I believe it's perfect uh, so I'm gonna get rid of a lot of this temp stuff right now tax tank and shield and constructor and I'm even gonna cut the generators whoops and occasional thrusters, CPU tier blocks, fuel tanks. Yeah, this isn't going to work for a bit. Uh, I'm going to temporarily leave the core there, though. All right, so to start with, um, got this amount of room. It's going to need uh, some storage, especially uh, ammo storage. It's my biggest concern. But I'll have some regular storage, and it's going to need a little bit of harvest storage. Well, maybe a little bit more than a little bit, because it also has two of these multi-tools in the back of it. And I need to make the front end tough. Now, right now, the front end is, I think, mostly a single block row, minus these, uh, these guns and the blocks around those guns. Now, one debate I've had is, should I bother with any kind of lag shot? Um, does it matter? Or what I, should I just go for the full block hit point strength, which you get, uh, let's see. These are, yeah, 400 for combat steel HV block. So, right now it's pretty boring. Just going to soup this up, fill in a lot of holes. You know, start somewhere like that so that's already getting a little bit tougher but this is a heavy tank and I want it to be really tough so well as tough as I can get it so I'm gonna actually build that up a little bit more there up on the top um, Okay, so now, past that, yeah, we definitely want another row there. In the center here, this is just nothing but blocks here. So, that's okay. Now, should I go even more than that? I don't know. Um, but beyond just this, too, beyond the, uh, the combat steel on the front, it's also probably going to have another layer or two of cargo extensions um, past that point. So here, let's strengthen up the corners. All this is adding weight, of course, to, to this, but um, just one of those things that's going to need to be done here. I don't know how many blocks were just added. Quite a few, though. Okay, so it's a little bit thin right there, too. So I think what's going to have to also happen is probably another row there. And I don't know, maybe... Is that going to be enough? The more I do, the slower it's going to get. That's 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 the thing. But I tried to build the thrust uh, extra BV to start with to be able to deal with some of that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just bite the bullet and fill that in too. Maybe another row there. Should be a fair amount of stuff up there. All right, so next part here. Um, I guess for now, I'm going to turn on some symmetry as well. And um, 
if you didn't know how I just did that, if, you, if you're new to the videos or uh, haven't uh, done this much, I hit the N on the keyboard and then it brings up this menu. I clicked here first. I usually go to uh, YZ, which would be your normal symmetry layout for most designs, I would say. Um, and then you have to touch somewhere in the center here. Like I can move the symmetry plane anywhere I want, but I want it in a dead center. It has to be in the middle of the block, not on one side or the other. So, and you want to verify that you're right on the center and then you've got full symmetry. So what I'm going to do here is start laying out cargo extensions. Um, and that's a, that's a thing too. It's like, do I want to put combat steel around the sides as well? And I'm mostly concerned about the front. The front and front top portion, basically this area, which I think would get hit the most. Um, the more you put, in, uh, you know, of course, the more combat steel I slap in here, the slower I'm going to make this thing, and I want it to be speedy. Um, that was a, the big thing over the MCRN uh, tank is this one's, uh, they have the same firepower, but I just want this one to be quicker and more agile. And it should be. Now, I've got way, way, way more strafing thrusters. Um, the reverse thrusters aren't terribly wonderful, though. I'm only running 10 of these uh, T2 HV thrusters. And that's where I could fit them right now, but I honestly wouldn't mind having a couple more. Um, but that's your stopping power. But the strafing power is where I really got a, th a thing going on, and, and uh, your forward power is also pretty tough. All right, well, blocks. Um... Hmm. This is the part I wonder about. Should I start throwing in cargo extensions now, or should I get some more combat steel in here first? Another uh, idea I had, too, to keep the weight down would be to actually leave, like, a hollow spot and then have, like, a wall on both sides of it. For instance, like up front, say I built another wall here, I would have that little gap in there once it made it through all there. Basically to mitigate splash damage. If it hit the, the front blocks over here, then it probably won't carry on to hit the inner wall. A tank like this, that might not be a bad option. And it would keep the weight down a little bit, but I also got to think a little bit about interior space. I do have a fair amount of room in here, though, so it's not the end of the world. I am going to seal this up over here though I think I think that with actual combat steel blocks and maybe a couple more on the sides and a row above the other stuff there too I think All right, so with extensions right now, I'm going to try to keep this. Uh, I guess I'm going to work on the ammo here right now. The ammo, I think I'm going to stick further back, but I'm going to have to run it so that it connects from side to side one way or another, whether across the ceiling or the, the, the floor or even across the walls. Now, my target goal for ammo storage on this is going to be pretty high at uh, 8,000, I think. Um, yeah, we can probably just put one there. And they're all going to have to touch, of course, which is not really a big deal. But if I can get it symmetrical like this more or less, I can I can link them and keep the weight balance uh, about the same on both sides with that. So here, let's get an ammo controller as well. And a lot of times I'll just temporarily place one somewhere. 
see what I'm at. So I'm just just over halfway to the 8K target goal here. Let's put some more in there. Oh, I didn't link it or something here. Oh, I know what's screwed up. I got symmetry on. That's why. Okay, how about now? Okay, so now we're at 5,000. Yeah, I gotta watch that. So, what happens if there's a rogue here? Another row there. Oh, and then of course I got symmetry off now. Ah. Okay, so now I'm over. So too many, too much extensions. I didn't really want to go to 10k ammo. Okay, so we're close. Put one over here, I think. Okay, so that would technically be ammo. I guess looking at the CPU is probably not too important at this moment. Um, all right, so that would be that. Now it's going to need harvest storage as well. Um, I'm going to try to have it set up so I've got all the con storage controllers on one side so I can make a nice little asymmetrical thing going on over here. That's going to get a little bit tricky moving these things around um, and they got to be separate from the other controllers. And actually I kind of want these to come out further too so that's another thing. Um, here, I'm going to take away a block there so I can put one here. Let's see, that is, oh, that's a container controller now. All parts, might as well put this, I want to keep it. Okay, so there's our ammo controller. All right, ammo controller there. Do we want it there or should I move it back? Eh, I probably want to get another wall of, uh, another border wall there too. All right, so second con controller set up now. Um, obviously, these blocks cannot touch with the other ones, and this is going to be for harvest. It's going to get a little bit tricky because I'm, I also want to run it across the ceiling. Um, but I think I'm going to manipulate some of these here. Let's pull those two off on each side, or three. Back at 7,000. I'll put them in here. No, I can't do that either. Actually, I can do that. Take one away from the side opposite of that. Okay, back to 8,000, and then we can keep on working on this one here. So what I'm going to try to do take this and raise it, connect it, and run it again across the ceiling. So I can connect down to the other side. Let's get a uh, harvest controller in here. Four thousand. 
wonder how much harvest this should have on it. Maybe like another 8,000, something like that. Okay, well, let's try to have that go there. Might as well get, try this again. thousand even okay, can't pull in there could fill in this bottom row here probably should eight thousand hey look at that came out exactly where I wanted it all right so we got 8k on both of those. Um, now it doesn't have any regular storage yet, so that is the last deal. Um, I don't know how much it's going to need. I want to keep this very focused on being a tank and not like uh, some kind of storage vehicle. But it should have some. Now, if I if I do this right though. I think what I'm going to really want to do is get the storage probably controller back over here somewhere. I'm trying to keep it away from the front of the tank as well. Oh, you know, but I was going to put cargo extensions across the front of this as another layer. How am I going to do that? <laughs> hmm. Oh, I got uh, okay. Well, what if what if it was here instead? Let's uh, rework this a little bit. So this is all part of the harvest. Yeah, it's gonna be tricky. So let's get rid of those two. That should take the harvest down. Oh, it actually disconnected. That row of harvest, so I can fix there. Okay, about there. Okay, back at 8k. All right, that's a start. Um, so what if we did that? Let's see which one of these is a regular controller. That one is. Okay. Okay, so that would connect and be separated from the other two controllers. And then again, it runs across. Oh, darn it. Yeah. Get rid of that. Could probably go a little bit higher on that. go for 4,000 on this. Pretty close. That's 4,000. So 8, 8, and 4. I think that's pretty fair. So it's going to have twice the uh, the ammo storage as the uh, ballista, but the same weapon count. So should be able to last twice as long in a combat scenario there. Hopefully enough ammo. I, I'm pretty sure to take down hopefully the toughest of POIs in, in one shot without having to reload. Well, I mean restock the ammo. I won't say reload.
All right. So we don't need a warp core. That's one great thing about HVs. Um, so that's one big part that doesn't need to be here. Now what we're also going to want, though, is a firewall here in front of the uh, double back door. So this is just kind of modify a lot of this later, but we'll just say, for instance, that there is a wall there. And that also protects um, if these uh, drone hatch doors get blown out too, that also still would keep the player safe, which the player cockpit would be somewhere in this area, um, somewhere. Got a lot of room for armor though, that's for sure. Got a lot of room for everything, really. But yeah, the more I add, the slower I'm gonna make it, which is also a side effect. So let's see, where should the secure cockpit be? Grab one of these. Yeah, I kind of want to keep it a little bit further away from the front this time. So maybe something like that, but it needs enough room for you to get in and out of here. I'm thinking maybe if I went somewhere there, and I would, I, as much as I would like to put this off to one side or the other, I believe what the problem would be, like say, say for instance, I put a uh, this over here. I believe when I operate this, then it, it sets my, my viewpoint there and not in the center of the tank, like you see now, which is not cool. So that's why I'm kind of forced to keep it in the center. So I don't want that offset there. That'd be kind of weird driving around that way. All right. Um, as an added protection, this should probably be a nice wall here as well. Don't worry, the core is not going to be there either. And should I put an internal sidewall in here yet, too? Be really safe that way. Yeah, I think I probably should. Keep in mind, a lot, most of these blocks are going to change. This is just trying to get the layout down. These probably should be out like that then. And there. I could just leave this area up here mostly empty where I don't have to take up weight, but then, you know, if eventually uh, this whole area gets blown out and whatnot, you still got more protection and hopefully um, if I don't have important parts around there, it would also be pretty safe. All right, so another thing I know right now is it's going to need six generators. So, and, if, and they make heat, so I don't want them right on the player or near anywhere you can walk in here. Um, I don't mind having them on display, though, so you can see where they might be at. But where would be good locations for these things? And I don't want them next to each other, either. I guess if some are hidden, I don't really have a big issue with that. But all these like blocks where I can't put anything else in some of these zones might be a good spot for these generators. But I just don't think I'll be able to make them very visible. I guess there's worse things that could happen. <laughs> okay, so say we put generator there and there. And make it a little tough here. I'm going to also slam in some combat steel blocks that in those locations. And where else could the generator go? Uh, 
somewhere here. A little bit away from the side there. Or I'll bring it back in a little bit, make it a little, little bit safer. Okay, so that'd be six generators. It's gonna need a bunch of fuel tanks. Curious on where the CPU is gonna come out once I get all these parts added. I do have a generator butted right up next to a thruster here, though. So I don't really like that idea. Oh, I never did fill on that one. God, do I want to put two generators right next to each other? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, if I squeeze them together there, then I'll keep them separated from the, the thrusters here on the side. Which, honestly, when I've been battling these POIs with the ballista, or I, you know, tried a few times, I never actually took any damage to the sides of the tank. Where I took the damage is either on the front, or if I'm stupid enough to, to flee in mid-battle with my shield down, I might take damage to the back. But I never took any damage to the sides. So I don't know how uh, how many hit points do these have. They also have 400. Well, you know, what I could do, and it would probably be better anyway, is to take those thrusters and move them up here. So that's keeping them another, another block away from the edge wall. And I could separate them there, and that's far enough away so players won't get heat. And if I take advantage of that, maybe I could put some kind of block over the, the front of these so you can kind of see part of the generator. Yeah, I like that idea. But I need two more generators. Again, with the, the heavier parts too, by using symmetry like this, is it's hopefully helping with uh, its balance. Hopefully. So other parts that we're going to need in here. Um, I left room for, so we're going to have one constructor. We need O2 O2 tanks, which are usually pretty easy to place. Uh, we're going to need a shield and pentaxid tank. Uh, of course, armor locker, O2. Clone chamber, oh, clone chamber, yeah. Um, that's a bigger part. I probably ought to try to accommodate that now. Okay, so we've got storage on one side, so I'm going to put a lot of the utility stuff on the other side, I think. don't like how these blocks are coming down right here, though, so I might modify that oops all right so that is part of the container controller It's tricky. It takes a little while to like lay this out, but once once you get like where you know 
generally where all the parts are going to go, then you start doing some block work around those parts um, to try to make everything look nice. Maybe move something around a little bit if you know you find a more convenient spot. Um, that's generally how it's going. So let's see. If we were to add another block to this set here, where could I now put that and not have it right in the way? Trying to keep things, uh, uh, actually quite a bit there already, isn't there? Yeah, we can, we can probably put, put it like somewhere over here, I think. Let's try there for now. Always filling up my inventory. Always. <laughs> okay. I add fuel to. Fuel tanks can explode. So, definitely don't want any on the front. Um, probably integrate these into the walls here somewhere. Didn't really want them next to the generators either. Now maybe down in this area here. And how many fuel tanks should this have to? That's enough, you know, if it can get about two hours of operational use per fill up, I think would be pretty good. Just trying really hard to keep this stuff separated. side here's a little different anyway isn't it and I'd love to use those spots like that oh it's next to a thruster let's try here for now Oh, that's probably seven tanks, I think. Yeah, seven. Uh, let me stick in a... Oh, yeah, tier box. That's going to be an important thing, too. I need four of the CPU tier four blocks. Now in the center part of this, it's uh, extra beefy because I did raise up the ceiling here. Um, so I'm wondering if I were to put the CPU tier box across the ceiling below two layers of other blocks, if that would be okay. And that'd be like not near the front of the tank either. Not so worried about placing air tanks because they're the easiest thing to probably place. But let's see. What if I 
had something like maybe that. How thick is it up here? I guess it actually does get down to one block layer there. Side. There, there. There, and there. And that should put it under this, and I could fill this area in actually. Tier blocks, power, fuel. I think I can power this thing back up again. Okay, CPU wise, we're looking pretty good. Yeah, I guess I guess this front area, um, maybe I'll try to reconfigure this a little bit, but it's almost like a buffer zone, like you could lose the entire front of this and be all the way down to your extra inside wall here on the uh, secure cockpit, and the tank will still be operational. Um, <laughs> granted, that would be a lot of damage, so... <laughs> All right, so just for Grinch here, I want to see how this thing moves right now. Just checking general balancing. So basically I hold O and then I just let it drift and see what happens. It out real quick. So far, it looks okay, but you really won't know until you get uh, weight in there. Should be fairly balanced, though. Okay, so now power you off again. Other big components, shield and pentaxid tank. Now, pentaxid tanks are heavy. Um, it is recommended usually to put those in the center. Here, I'm going to get the core out of there for now, too. Um, so, let's see, above here, it's actually a little thin right there, isn't it? in there too. Alright, so where to put the Pentaxid tank? The Pentaxid tank also is something you can't have the player right next to. Really nice if I could center it though somewhere. Is that one, two, three, four? Technically, it could go there. above that area can't put it there I don't know I think for now I'm gonna try it there it looks kind of funky at the time but it could be right above here too but I'm probably gonna put more uh, combat steel there 
All right, so another thing I, uh, I did want to put back in here as well is some RCS. Oh, original design, I had eight in here. RCS are usually going to do your best uh, job and overall performance around the center of gravity. At least that's how it used to work unless it changed. Um, but a lot of times placing them from the center to the edges, I really noticed no, like hardly any difference at all. RCS. All right, so shield. I think the shield is the last big, bigger part. No, I can't find anything. My mess of parts here. Probably right now it's equipped. There. Shield could be on display on one of these walls, though, because at least it doesn't uh, fry you or anything like that, which is a bonus. Just don't want to buy anything explodey. Maybe, maybe I got, I got an idea here. If one row was eased back here, then I could put the shield like over here or something. Actually, this this whole apparatus, I think, could probably go up a block row forward yet, which would free up a little bit more space in here. You gotta also make sure too when you put in these that you can get out. Um, I know if you leave a block row like this on all sides, it's cool. But if I were to even just try to like put like a block up here, I think a lot of times it causes you to get stuck. And you gotta leave the back open more or less too. But uh, yeah, this this should give give enough room for that. Okay, so now we got the shield in place. Uh, last part that really actually takes up. Uh, a little bit of CPU is the constructor. I was only planning on running one. I want to keep that somewhere around the crafting box area. So hypothetically, let's say the constructor was like over here. down a row. Okay. Oh, no, core. Oh, yeah, core, core. Where is the core going to go? I usually like to offset those uh, to one side or the other. Definitely, again, don't want it anywhere near the front of the tank. Or even, you know, if I can avoid putting it near a wall altogether, I think that would be fairly cool. In this case, I was half tempted to put... Nah. <laughs> nah. I always talk myself out of things.
What I normally do with cores is I usually will set up a separate block row around them. And I'm thinking, let's just say hypothetically, that the core was here. There's an awful lot between the side wall and the core there. And it's also far away from the front, the top, and the bottom. And offset. Um, it could actually have an opposing alternative core spot on the other side, too, I think. What's the CPU looking at? Look at that. The CPU is not even, I'm not even stressing on CPU at all on this build, which is really cool. Um, I guess my next big thing is I'll probably pro uh, try to go through and, and actually do the block work and finish off this interior. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Some more, more parts. More parts. I almost forgot. There's uh, O2 armor locker. Um... So much of this will probably move a little bit too yet, but it's nice to. Oh yeah, med station. I almost forgot about this too. Gotta have one of these. At least if I'm playing, I'm always getting hurt. <laughs> well, med station could actually kind of go on one of these back walls here. that and then we need O2 to see what what works and what looks nice when it's all done here too but I'm I'm going for like a double row wide hallway I think is the, the standard and it's even though it's three back here but I might I could always add in no I can't <laughs> no, okay it's three back there two on the sides three here it looks like Four, geez. Figure that would be something like that too. And it's probably something like that. Just trying to protect all these parts. You have an outer outer hall and then an inner hall and then a bigger buffer zone on the front. And that would probably work out pretty good. Kind of a little bit similar to like the, the demos, I suppose. Um, I wanted to be a little more asymmetrical with this. I guess it is a little bit on, you know, stuff inside, but what really messes that up is having to center um, the uh, the cockpit. Um, if I didn't have to center it, I could really kind of go more uh, asymmetrical. But then again, that could really throw off weights too. So right now I'm trying to center everything as, as good as I can. Um, so your generators, your taxi tanks on the center, everything else is kind of symmetrical, which I guess would make more sense for a build like this um, yeah so yeah CPU is not even a thing in fact I could up the storage some too I'm pretty sure this can carry a lot of weight it's got a lot of hover engines and things like that so maybe I'll maybe I'll do that but I just um, yeah I know it doesn't look like much but uh, it's just kind of uh, the planning phase uh, version one, version two would be start to throw in some interior blocks, which I'm going to probably to keep the weight down, probably switch from, 
I know it's extreme, but going from combat steel to carbon substrate. So I'll probably like a lot of little trim detaily things all over the place. It'll probably be carbon substrate. I'm not um, just to keep the weight down. I mean, yeah, I could fill it all in with combat steel, but then this thing's going to be a brick, and I don't want it to be a brick. Um, in fact, I'd love to find a way to get some more uh, reverse thrusters on here, too. I'm not so worried about strafing thrust. I think that's really pretty good, but the rear thrust is good. Front thrust only with 10. But I got limited spots that I know of right now to pop in anymore. If I did do it, it would be like have to be like somewhere over here, almost on the ground. Um, or I put so another row closer here. You know, I could do that. I think that's safe enough, right? Maybe. works out well, I don't think I put any lights on this either <laughs> okay so we'll keep this front one back there yeah that might help a little bit anything better and then I could put another uh, grate over the front of that as well so that gets us to 12, which is half of that of the rear thrust, which is a decent ratio, I guess. Still, it's the uh, side that would move the least here. test with the extra weight in here to see how it does I think it's all right I mean for a bigger HV like this um, I'm not gonna have any problem getting around and yeah as in barrel rolls yeah HVs just don't barrel roll anymore <laughs> I've uh, I I don't know what the deal is with that but yeah no matter what, it doesn't seem like I can get these things to barrel roll very good. At least if they're bigger. Alright. Let me hold O. Released O. Look for drift. Uh, yeah, well, I think I think that's a general setup on the interior. Now, the rest of it would take a long time, and that's uh, a lot of detailing and texturing and adding blocks and stuff. Um, and I got to review to see if I'm missing any more main parts yet. I don't think so. Um, might add a little bit more storage yet because I've got the CPU. And... Uh, that's about it, though. Um, probably take me another three, four hours to actually finish the interior, though. <laughs> that was just the, the, the first part. The second part is all the block work. Um, and I, I think I, I will save that for yet another video. I've been trying to, like, show all the steps of this tank being built from ground up. And so far, I think it's all been on, on video, except for skinning... Uh, about half of it, um, which I did on my own because that just gets really boring. I did mod it a little bit in that process, though, too, but not too much. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'm going to be showing some other things pretty soon, too, some updates to Creel stuff. I have got a notification. I, I meant to do that uh, actually over the weekend. I didn't do it yet, but I'll, I'll show that on the next video just to get an uh, update on that stuff and then uh, probably continue on on the interior of this tank going to the next part which is you know all the block work and trying to make it look nice and maybe get a little texture in there too so anyway you all have yourself a good day i'll see you later